We're back now with something that's on the minds of a lot of you on the Channel 3 Mom Squad. How can we get our kids to read more and actually enjoy it? I uh, know, absolutely. Research shows that youth reading scores have steadily declined over the past decade. Joining us now is Samantha Hagen Lingad, Vice President of Programs for United Through Reading. Thank you so much for being with us, Samantha. We so appreciate your time. Thank you. Happy to be here. You Tell know, us. Oh, go ahead, Karen. Well, I mean, we're just talking about the scores. I mean, as a mom with two kids, you know, of course, they've got all the standardized tests and the scores can make you uh, not that we're going to be too focused on scores all the time. But you say they've steadily declined over the past decade. Yes, they have. And, um, you know, we at United Through Reading are particularly focused on our military and veteran community. But some of the tips and tricks that we have come up with over the course of our existence can really help any family. How did the program get started, Samantha? We were founded in the late 80s by a military spouse who was also an educator, and uh, her husband came home from a deployment, and their little one didn't recognize him. Oh. So she decided to marry her love of education with her military background, put them together, and founded United Through Reading so that uh, service members and veterans anywhere in the world can be video recorded reading books to the children in their lives. So they're always a presence for story time, no matter where they are. That's wonderful. So uh, also you say just reading, I think as a mom, you think, oh gosh, you know, and you try to say something like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and kids are so busy. You're saying the research shows just reading a couple minutes a day, a few minutes a day. Absolutely. Can really help kids uh, from not falling behind and also instill a love of reading. Yes, no, that is very true. It's, it is, it does take time, but it doesn't take a lot of time. So just a few minutes sitting down with your child, having that beloved book, whatever that might be, really, really can impact them uh, and, and have them fall in love with reading and get them to start reading on their own, which is ultimately the goal. But of course, you don't want to stop reading with them once they're reading on their own, because that is an opportunity to still sit down, have a few moments to connect, talk about things that are, you know, perhaps harder to broach than just a normal conversation. But if a character in a story is going through something, you can open that line of communication uh, and just continue uh, bonding and reading and being together and falling in love with reading together. Now, Samantha, I know we talked about over the past decade, those uh, those studies have de shown decline, but had, did the pandemic have a more influential impact on these scores? Yes, we believe that it did. Uh, you know, everyone being home all the time, uh, putting everything virtually, the focus being kind of inward, um, the focus was taken away in some cases on the daily reading ritual mm. and um, you know, family time together because we were being pulled in all different directions. You know, I'm doing this interview in via Zoom, and um, that's the wonderful thing that came out of some of our lockdown experiences. But the downside is his education suffered, and a great way to reinforce that education on a daily basis at home is again just sitting down for those few minutes, taking a few minutes together, reading a book. Uh, could be a new book, could be a book you've read a million times over and over again, doesn't matter. It yeah. all has an impact on the child's literacy rates. So also you have this great program I want to get to before we run out of time, but um, there's 400 uh, United Through Reading recording locations worldwide and military members can record a story. So that helps keep them connected with their kids. Absolutely, yes. We have locations worldwide, but we also have an app that's available to any service member or veteran to use absolutely for free anytime, anywhere. And the app actually comes preloaded with ebooks. So if they are in a situation where they don't have books on hand, children's books on hand, they have them right there in the app. All they have to do is download the app, get started, and uh, they can start making those story time recordings. And for every recording that's made, we can send a book home to the child. So it's a really great way to increase not only their reading uh, library, but also the recording library so that they're always seeing the, their loved one's face, even if they're home every day. All but right. they get that recording whenever they need it. Samantha, we're out of time, but we can't thank you enough for being on the show. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. For more information, you can visit unitedthroughreading.org.